All right, we're here. We're playing SAP. Listen, I don't get political, okay? But I do want to ask, if, is anybody here watching from the United Kingdom? What's it like to have had more heads of state in the last 12 months than there have been American Idol winners in, life, in the lifetime of the show? Is this actually, this is like your ninth prime minister of the 2020s, right? And it's, we're not even three full years deep yet? Like, what's going on? The lettuce lasted longer. That was a good lettuce, though. I don't, normally, if you left a lettuce out of the fridge, I would not eat it after six days. But I don't know, maybe I'm just food poisoning pill because I was like, you know, almost killed by the salmonella and campylobacter. But anyway, um, how many wins will we get? Zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, I'm going to I'm just going to let you know. This is a hard weekly, OK? So I, I, I'm not saying that that should temper your expectations necessarily. I'm just letting you know that this weekly, as of right now, I have found fairly difficult. I don't know if, if it's my tempo. And you know what? We'll call that a smug hedge. Hey, NL, you're glowing today, King? Oh, thank you. That's, I'm, I'm not glowing so much as I would say maybe glistening uh, as a result of the, uh, of the Peloton ride. Did I tell you I PB'd? I can't remember. It felt good. I felt inspired at the end of it. You can take that cookie and, and stick it up your yeah, I would say. <clears throat> oh, man. You're looking bald today? That's not false. You're not wrong. I am scared, though. Like, I've enjoyed this... Um, well, let's level up first while we're talking here. I've enjoyed this uh, this summer in Vancouver. Um, we have had very, very little rain, which is, like, really bad for the environment and the air quality. But, like, really, really good for going outside and taking, like, a 90-minute walk with the baby in a stroller. It's starting to rain tomorrow. And in, all, in, in Vancouver, typical Vancouver fashion... It probably won't stop until like May. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the extended summer to be over. But at the same time, I'm kind of... I woke up this morning, won't believe what I saw, as Sting said. 7 a.m., the sun's not out yet. I'm, I'm clipping into the, the Peloton. The, it's barely like the sun is just slightly risen. It doesn't feel right. And I know that, like, when is Daylight Savings this year? Hold on. Daylight Savings 2022. Sunday, November 6th. So in, like, two and a half weeks, it's going to be, like, I mean, it's going to be pitch black when I'm waking up. I remember, it, it's so hard to remember. Like, I picked my daughter up from daycare at, uh, like, 5 p.m., there's like seven months of, uh, of picking her up when it's actually still dark. Or not still dark, but the sun has already gone down. It's crazy. No, that means you get more sun in the morning? Oh yeah, I forgot. Hey, cut me some slack. This is only my um, 34th daylight savings that I've lived through, okay? It takes a while to get a handle on it. Okay, I'm going to try something a little weird here, okay? I'm going to sell this. I'm going to feed our elephant. I'm going to feed my Frankenstein. And I'm going to... Yeah, that's basically what I was looking for, honestly. I'm, I, I don't know. I guess I'm running sicko elephant. I have to put it at the back. Because otherwise it might be so strong that it kills all of the other units. Wait, hold up. Since when do you start streaming at... At 9 a.m.? Um... It's probably... I bet we're coming up on the one-year anniversary quite frankly. I think I started streaming at 9 a.m. When, when my daughter started daycare, which was like the, the last week of October 2021. So it's been a minute for sure. Come on. Come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. 
seven of nine. Ooh, I don't mind it. Let me tell you, I, that, I'm not so sold on that, but level two elephant, and what about like a, um, what about like a, like live long enough for a triceratops to show up, and then who knows what could happen. You can find it in stores right now. I think Ant Luck got us a draw there. We got very lucky. Camel's great this week. That is true. I forgot about the camel. Or as Sasha Baron Cohen would say, Kamala! My, you will be my wife. My, my wife. Minus, minus two. People aren't, okay, we're not ready for Borat to come back yet. Noted. Noted. Duly noted. You know what? You're good enough. Because you're good enough. Because you're dear enough to see. You guys like a, a Beast of Burden? I'm going sicko mode right here. This is like a little atypical, but it's an, I'm an atypical sort of guy. And you know, can I tell you something else? When society goes crazy, the crazy man thrives. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Not that the mosquito, an, another 2 2 mosquito would not have been the difference maker there, but still. Hold on, we can do something cr like pog crazy here. You wanna, you wanna see something go insane? All right, quick salad me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this'll work. What are you doing? Listen, just let the elephant do the talking, okay? You don't, you don't have to worry yourself about anything else. Just let the elephant do the talking. I would like to have my garlic back if possible. Can I get my garlic back? It's actually gonna work. We live in a twilight world. Can you believe this? It's, I, you know, I'm, I think that I'm, the camel's better. Deer at the back is very strange, <laughs> to put it mildly. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm, temporarily I'm trying something like this. I think if we got to four on this run, this would be considered like um, better than expected. Let's put it that way. Four wins. That's all we're looking for. Four wins. Wait, this this team is running the exact same style as us, but worse? Holy cow. Can you believe this? I think it's a little late for the cucumber. Give me give me some salad strats. I, I really just want to pill you. Um, I mean, this is... It, it happens a lot in Super Auto Pets. You're like, if I sell anything that I've got, I'm going to lose. But if I don't take something like a buffalo, then I stand no chance to get to 10 wins. So it's really, it's the, it's the classic turd sandwich versus douche sort of decision-making process here. You can sell the fish, but it's a 4-6. That's an old South Park reference. I'm not sure if people, anyone heard of this show, this little indie show? You do have seven life, you can pivot. That's true. I suppose I could still I could still pivot. I don't want to sell you though. I think we should wait for a pill. It should show up soon. Clueless. Pill? No pill. Okay. Well, I think then in this case, we have to we have to pivot like immediately. To draw this one would be nice. My mom wouldn't let me. I have um I, I was not able to watch South Park when it first started on the television. Um, but my parents relented by like the fifth grade. So I started, I, I bet I started watching year 2000, year 1999 is my guess. I hate to do this because you're like free experience, but. I was six months old when it first started. <laughs> Oh man, that you have you have done cosmic damage to me with that one. I was six months old when it first started. Holy cow, man! 
That's crazy. Okay, this is a weird one. Let's try something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> it started a year before I was born. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't even... What's crazy is not that that's like, oh, I'm so old. It's that, like, without trying to just deflect the psychic damage back upon you, it's that South Park is older than you are, and you're also starting to get old, which is a little crazy. Again, I'm not trying to make you feel like you're getting older, but I, I hope you're not saying, like, I'm so young, I'm younger than South Park, when in reality... What it is, is that like both you and South Park are now old. That's how much time has passed by. I'm not trying to upset you. Watch this. Watch this drive. Start me here. Here. Here and then sell me. Huge, insane, unbelievable. Yeah, I still don't think this is, like, that good, but that's okay. <clears throat> I'm baked AF. Thank you for talking. So at least, at least I could do. I guess. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're welcome for talking. Wow, this is a strong team. I know. I'm, I'm familiar, you know. Listen, I, it depends where you live. It's 9.19 a.m. on a Thursday. We, we've only got... You know, IT professionals with me on their fourth monitor and people whose job is professionally smoking the reefer watching right now, and that's okay. I'm not passing judgment in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to be straight up with you. A 5'9 uh, a camel is no longer getting the job done. I would much rather have, uh, like, a crocodile just doing something. I would much rather... I'm just thinking right now. I guess I, I would sell a hatching chick, buy a cat... It's a tough choice here. Because, like, garlic is also really valuable but so is like the potentiality for a super cow i think we can afford to not sell the first cow and just like we're hoping that this gives us enough to get there 27 33 on turn 11 but with no equipment i don't know with the crocodile we might be able to make something happen here don't don't crit me thank you thank you wait a minute but you're very strong Oh, we're going to win this one. Okay. And then we've already got the cat. More cows, please. More cows. No cows. Well, in, in, honestly, I don't think we sell this cow yet. I think we sell our elephant, bizarrely enough. Buy a turtle for the stats. <clears throat> I don't really want to run two cats and ice cream over a turtle. I think you're, you're doing enough for me right now. It's highly unfortunate. I'm willing to go one more. No pill, huh? Well, I'm willing to, at this point, I'm willing to sell a cow. We, we gave it more time than it deserved, quite frankly. I'm willing to run this. I'm willing to... We could run a, a parrot behind a crocodile, but I, I don't know. I'd rather just get two cats out here and, and pray that we live through this round, I guess. It sucks. If we'd gotten another cow or we'd gotten a pill, we would have been in a much better spot. This is a, a very scary team. This team is going to beat us. Considering how much we lost uh, our way in the mid-game, I'm happy with five. I mean, we said the four would have been pretty sick, but... I'll take five. Yeah, there is a pill this weekly. Here's my impression of, of chat when they don't see a pill in three rolls. Uh, there's no pill this weekly. Okay, so I apologize. I didn't mean to put you on blast, okay? But it's true. I mean, I don't, don't make me click on the paw. Look, it's right there. It's a horrible shop. It's a, it's a horrendous shop right now. Um, we'll run like this. Uh, we'll be a... How about a fussy fighter?
my reaction when I type in chat and got called out for it? Well, then, like, don't spread misinformation. <laughs> Do your research. Or own that you spread misinformation. Either, either one, I guess, I would accept. We don't need to have multiple mods. The, the, one mod gives you the effect you need. Keep this around. We got great level up potential next time. One of the easiest losses of my life. Excuse me, where's my level? There's my level. Oh, I already had one. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I think we could try this. And then, hold on, hold on. I think we can sell. I think we can sell. I think we can buy. It's not that bad. I think we can feed you. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want to pop it down just yet, though. Or do I? Or do I? Or do I? I think I... Maybe I do. Maybe I Maybe I accept running three squatted here. And we can get a kangaroo out next turn. And another otter. Holy cow. I'm betting on the moth three for one essentially. And we're still going to lose. <laughs> That's okay. Add one of these, and then hit me with one of these. Okay, now I think you gotta rework the squad. We gotta run it like this. We can add another moth. This is still like a really good team. We, we got a great setup for the future. We got a lot of stats. We got, we got levels. This is okay. It's, it's genuinely completely fine. Like look, our, our kangaroo's gonna destroy them. Look, it's not even close. Freeze pills? For what purpose? You want, me to, you want me to pill my otter? It's not gonna happen. Not gonna do it. Now you're gonna stick around, so guess what? Take some meat. It's good efficiency. You're gonna stick around, so take one of these. Um, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, just gonna run weirdo mode. I'm gonna run weak moth at the front, hoping that it one for ones blows out their best unit. My moth with garlic gets to do two attacks, thus making my kangaroo have a great chance to get stronger. And then we got a little otter at the back just in case things, uh, just in case we need to be, essentially. Easy mode. I don't think we need to go another level on the, the hatching chick. I think it's a fool's errand. Garlic is always good. It's good. And then stat me. I mean, we're at, that's unfortunate salad play, but you know what? We're kind of, we're kind of cruising right now. We're kind of, we're kind of insane with it. We're kind of uh, getting out of control with it. Just need to manage the pivot. You know the otter is the first to go after we combine our, our mods. Scaling is always nice. Experience is always nice. I think you gotta do this. The dragonfly showing up like, you know, at a good time is a good thing. I think you sell your level two. That way when you buy the dragonfly, the moth is guaranteed to take the level. These have to get combined. Why don't you toss me a deer out here? If it gets a buff, that's not a big deal. And then honestly, like with nothing... I, I, round seven. I'm going to cucumber a deer just to give me like... Just to give me shop efficiency. I'm not sold on it being incredible, but... You know, that, I think that was like a there's no good options here sort of situation. Okay, good smack. Good smack. We are still smacking. Why do you say cucumber like that? Vitamins, minerals. Makes your skin cleaner. I forget the rest of the... I, I gotta go back and listen to it, given the amount that I reference it. Okay, this is useless. It's probably like one of the best animals in the game, the buffalo. <clears throat> it's really good. And it scales so fast. We probably 
slow ourselves down by doing this. I bet we lose like our next round as a result of this, but I think it has to be done. I think the earlier you invest in it, the happier you're going to be, you know? One of these real quick. Sell it up. Buff your moth just because you know, I'm, I'm hedging my bets. Kids in the hall voice. I am hedging your bets. And then maybe one of those. And if we lose the next round, we got a snail backing us up anyway. Hey, Anel, how do you feel that America could probably take over Canada if they wanted to? Is this the last gasp of Pax Americana? Breathless machismo with uh, no actual passion behind it? Yes, we may be in silk slippers heading down a, a lacquered mahogany staircase, but if we wanted to, we could still give you a black eye. Okay, congratulations. Is that what you wanted? Oh, whoa, what a big tough guy. Isn't it weird to live in a country that uh, doesn't have a military as strong as the United States of America? No, not really. Like, you know, something like 96% of the world's population lives under that uh, mantle every single day. If anything, it's, it's uh, unnerving. But I think that you might take that as a compliment instead of uh, as the insult that I intended it as. 100% sir how could america how could americans live under a military that's not as strong as america's what the hell are you talking about don't try to math explain me when we're doing sporkle quizzes about probability and it's you know in a 52 card deck with no uh reshuffles how many jacks are you likely to pull on 17 pulls then then i'll ask you in chat okay <clears throat> You got to work on your, your foreign policy. Why are you trying to intimidate your allies? We're literally just like up here chilling. Not to say that we don't do wrong things ourselves, but... We're just relaxing up here. Well, yeah, we're already in NATO state. And have been, I don't even know for how long, but a long time is my guess. <laughs> Like maybe like the, the tide for the longest or at least up there, I'd have to imagine. On this one, I think we need this. And then I think, I know that we could have gotten a purchase and then a sell and then a purchase, but I think we needed the garlic more than anything else. I'm very content with what we got here. I'm, and maybe, eh, no, it's going to get overrun. <clears throat> Munchie's kicking in, about to order pizza for real. Okay, you're not from, you're not from the same the same time zone as me. That's fine, unless you're, I don't know, because you know what? When we threw our two year old's birthday party, we were looking for pizza places because the adults don't get the privilege of eating the pizza. They have to eat salmon salad sandwiches and maintain some decorum. I was driving around trying to find some pizza places. And that were open for like a 10 a.m. birthday party start. Every pizza place on a Saturday opens at, uh, or on a Sunday opens at 11 a.m., which is very fair. I can't imagine that there's a ton of breakfast demand for pizza, but I was like, really? I would have thought that maybe there's some pizzerias that open at like 9 a.m. Apparently not, though. Did the kids get mad because it was a $10 Costco pizza? You know what? I'm going to plus two that. That's a reference to React Court yesterday. One of the finest React Courts the world has ever known. I guess. No, but we don't really need it. it don't, don't really need it, uh, to be honest. Can you explain how Canada became independent from the UK? Um... So listen, <laughs> my understanding is that um, we, it was like, it's like in the 1860s, we were like, can we? And then the United Kingdom government was like, We'd rather you didn't. And then probably like Sir John A. MacDonald was like, um, 
hey, remember the American Revolution? And then I don't even know who was the leader of, of uh, the United Kingdom at the time, but he was probably like, uh, oh, yeah. You know what? How about we just like... Um, it's like, you know how like uh, if people are in their 60s and they are married, rather than get a divorce, sometimes they just stop living together, but they don't change their Facebook status. It's kind of like that, right? They're like, technically, Canada and the United Kingdom are still married. They live in separate houses. They, you know, have not had dinner with each other in 15 years, but... But they're like, at this point, until, for, for tax purposes, it makes sense. There's no reason to change it up until somebody starts, uh, you know, rocking the boat. That's right out of the damn history book. That's what I like to hear. I'm scared. Like, this, this could go wrong. I think we buy the T-Rex. I think the t ugh. Okay, I'll buy the tiger. I do think that buying the T-Rex might have been the right call. Even though it wouldn't have given you the buff that turn, you saved the three gold that you would have spent buying it the next turn. But I, I'm basically betting on us living through this one. And that seems to have been a good bet. I'm happy with myself. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. Frick washing the dishes. I dry them and put them up any day of the week. Yeah, but like, so this is the same person you're ordering the pizza, you're under the influence right now of a drug that may or may not be legal where you live. How are you going to dry them and put them up if nobody wash? Somebody's got to wash them. The washing is, is a necessary condition to get to the drying in the first place. What is this? A visual bug? I have a visual bug. Gamers? <laughs> Give me some pizza, save me some gold, ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Yeah, Dragonfly can go in order to get better buffalo plays, I suppose. Where we lost, okay. Man, talk about scaling. <clears throat> we got six wins? That's not very good. I thought we were doing better than that. Tell us how you really feel about the Canucks, New Jersey. I feel like this season has been like a disaster so far. And that's fine. I wanted to, like, I didn't want to get too, uh, like, you know, mansplainy about it, I guess. Be a squeaky sausage. Um, but, like, I wanted to make a tweet. I don't know if this is just because I've gotten older, but I feel like if you if you follow like NHL stuff on Twitter, there's been an influx of like younger fans, fans who are like, it's New York Rangers season, but it's spelled like S-Z-N, and then they have the record for the team like in their Twitter username, and then they have a picture of like Artemi Panarin uh, with like filters on it and like stars and stuff in the background, and they live tweet like every single game. And, and, like, every win is, like, we're going to win the cup, plan the parade route, and then every loss is, like, a disaster. I just, from, from the man who's approaching middle age, I just want to say, the best thing you can do as a sports fan is just remember that it's entertainment. And at the end of the, the if, if your team sucks and our team does suck, I see people, after every game on r slash Canucks that the Canucks lose, fire... Patrick Alvin, fire Bruce Boudreau, trade Bo Horvat, trade JT Miller, fire all the scouts. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't you just why don't you just stop watching for a little? Like if it's if it's actually if it's bothering you to the point that it's ruining your days a little bit, you gotta just remember that it's just a bunch of you know, grown millionaires slapping a little rubber disc around the ice. The whole concept of the sport is absurd to begin with. We shouldn't take it so seriously. And yeah, like, somebody's, somebody's always got to be the bad team. It sucks when it's your team over and over, but like, everybody's trying their best. <laughs> I don't know why people are like, uh, they're like, oh, why doesn't the GM just follow Jay Fresh on Twitter and then uh, take the players whose wins above replacement is the highest it is in the league? 
Why don't, why doesn't, the dude, it's like the GM doesn't even follow Jay Fresh on Twitter. What is he doing? Like, it's just, it's just, it's just sports. It's not that serious. That being said, they can't trade Bo Horvat because then I got to change like my username on everything, man. That would be a disaster for me. What am I doing here? I don't know. I'm scared. Combine these, buy this, look for a level in order to help your clownfish help you scale. Okay, this is not good. I don't know. It's just like, especially, like the Canucks have been pretty ass for like a long time now. Like kind of since like 2015, but also kind of since like 2013. And kind of since like 2012. Not 2011, but definitely 2012. At this point, I'm like, you're really going to freak out because we're ass again? It's been, like t it's been like a decade of ass. Like, what do you... At this point, you should be used to it. We lost the first four games of the season. Now, you know what I turn on the, the Canucks games for right now? I turn them on and I go, I'm glad hockey season's back. It gives me something to watch. And then our team is up 2-0. And in my head, I say, don't get excited. And then it's 2-2. Two, two, and then it's 3-2. And I'm like, maybe this is the one. And then it's 3-3. Three, three, and then we go to overtime. We allow a three on zero on our, our backup goalie. And I say, I've seen this one before. Then somehow he saves the puck. And I say, whoa, maybe this time is different. And then they let in the overtime goal. And I go, why did I let myself get excited? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You just got to you gotta learn to enjoy the... Just the sport itself. You got to learn to... I'm just rolling, man. <laughs> this is a disaster. You got to learn to enjoy the, uh, the, the sound of the puck going... You got to learn to enjoy the, the skates on the ice. You got to learn to enjoy the, the beauty of a, of a stretch pass, even if it doesn't end up being a goal. At least you're not a Sens fan. I mean, like, if you look at the last, I don't know, like, 20 years, you would have been way better off being a Sens fan than a Canucks fan. They made the Stanley Cup Finals, um, you know, in 2006, 2007. Um, they made the Eastern Conference Finals, not but, like, five years ago. They've got an exciting young core. In the early 2000s, they were, uh, you know, they routinely won the President's Trophy. Crapped on the Toronto Maple Leafs in the playoffs. Like, it's, don't, don't do that. If you look at the, his, and, and let, let the Canucks have something. The only teams more cursed than the Canucks are the Buffalo Sabres and the Arizona uh, Coyotes right now. Now, there's, there's some that are close, but sometimes people will be like, at least you're not a Red Wings fan. And you're like, what the hell are you talking about? You've won like seven Stanley Cups in my lifetime. You made the playoffs for like 25 consecutive years. And then you were asked for like four years, and now it looks like you're actually coming out of your rebuild because you did it properly. You, you like just own the fact that you're spoiled. What about the Sharks are just as cursed? What are you talking about? The Sharks they won the, 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 the Western Conference Finals like, what, four years ago? It's crazy, man. Most cursed hockey franchises. Buffalo's got to be number one. Because Buffalo kind of like won the Stanley Cup and then lost it to uh, a rule that was then rescinded like a year later. Number two, I think, has got to be the Coyotes because they've never accomplished like anything. No offense. And also they're playing in a university arena right now. Like that's historic levels of cursed. And then I think the Canucks are like number three. The Canadians, are you in, they have the most Stanley Cups in NHL history. They made the, they made the cup finals two years ago. Panthers are pretty cursed. At least, at least you're in the conversation. I appreciate that. The Wild, I would say, the, the Wild have a, a good, uh, a good case as well. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta play some games here. <laughs> it's the Leafs. 
No, because this is like, it's too North American pill. The Leafs are a little cursed because they should be performing better than they are. But at least you get like 82 games of really good play in the regular season most of the time before you disappoint people. We're talking about like franchises that, I mean, the, the Florida Panthers didn't win a playoff series for literally like, I don't know, almost 30 years. I get that the Leafs are getting pretty close, but <laughs> at least they... <laughs> At least they uh, had some good regular seasons in the in the interim period. No, it's the opposite. I'm not mad about sports. I'm mad at... Uh, oh, that's insane. We obviously need to get this early. I'm mad at sports fans for, like, good teams. Maybe not great teams, but good teams. That are like, whoa, you root for a team that's ass? At least you don't root for my team that's better than your team. But for some reason, I think I'm the main character. As a result, like, you know, when when you watch your team be ass, at least you're not me watching my team be ass. And, I, the, the, like, without insulting uh, my good friend Apollo, it's the same way he's like, well, whenever you talk about how bad the your Canucks are or something like that, he's like, it could be worse. You could be a Steelers fan. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You've won like four Super Bowls in my lifetime. What's the average Steelers record over the course of your football watching years? It's like 10 and 6. I guess there's 17 games per season now, but you get the idea. Like 11 and 5? Yeah, exactly. They haven't had a losing record in close to 20 years. That's what I'm saying. You got to own it. If you root for a team that's like good, but not the best, you just got to. That, that's the key to having like less misery in sports, I think, is if your team is good, but not great, you have to enjoy regular season wins as if they're like playoff wins. Because that's what it's like to root for a team that, you know, has made the playoffs once in like the last seven years. You're like, what was your favorite game uh, this year? Well, it wasn't when we eliminated a team in game five because that shit doesn't happen. Instead, it was like, oh, we beat a team we have a rivalry with 6-2 on, on a random Tuesday in January. Like, that's what you hang your hat on when you're rooting for a team that is, that is not a real contender. And the offseason. You're like, oh, the best day of my season? Oh, that was probably when we signed Ilya Mikheyev to a below-expected price. In free agency. Only, only fans of mediocre sports teams can truly understand, in my opinion. Oh, it was the NHL draft. Yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this will work. So I'm just... I sh Jerry, I should be her only fan. You, when you root for the Arizona Coyotes? Sorry, it's punching down a little bit. I'm sorry. Jerry, I shouldn't be their only fan. Look at the Kachina jersey. Jersey. Okay, we need to buy for the Buffalo. It's noted. Should just buy, roll, sell, buy. Buy, sell, buy just for the 2 2, I suppose. Oh, you already, you were maxed out. It's my mistake. It's my mistake on that one. I too enjoy sports ball. I get sports ball. Go local sports team and or college. Oh no. <clears throat> Sell me? Buy me. We can only use it three times per turn. That's important to remember for the first time ever. How about sell me, buy me? How about sell me, buy me? And then straight up, how about you make yourself like semi-useful with a 50% chance to crit? How does that sound? Does that sound nice to you? Does this sound, does this sound right to you? It's kind of a good dragonfly. I think that's what we need. As long as we get like two hits out of our, um, out of our frontline unit, we're going to be okay. <clears throat> a 
opinion on Liz Truss? I, I mean, I don't know anything about her, and I'm, I'm just being sincere in my, in my statement there. But, like, it just seems like... Listen, my country has a lot of elections. VIP Daniel, are you here? Will you vouch? When I was a kid, we had elections every four years. Ever since Paul Martin took over in 2004, we have, like, an election every 18 months or something like that. It's crazy. Luckily, I love voting. I'm smug like that. Why not? Why not give it a chance? We might as well get something out of it. Um, but, like, I feel like... The UK has had, like, seven prime ministers in the last ten years. Is that not... Am I mistaken in that statement, or is that true? Holy cow, this is, a, this is an insane team. It's an unbelievable team. And we've only, we've only, oh, four wins! I thought I was killing it! I shouldn't have talked so, I'm so fucked up. I shouldn't have talked so much about, uh, sports through, the, I wasn't paying attention. I had a good run. It's horrendous, man. Okay, fish me. Uh, apple meat. Let's try not to lose early. That would, okay, well, never mind. Um, I'll be like a blatant alien, I guess. Uh, I did, I did vote in, someone asked, NL, did you vote in the, oh. <laughs> there was no way that could have gone any better, and it was still horrendous, but, oh well. Um, did you vote in the civic election? I did vote in the Vancouver civic election. I've been harvesting a lot of plus twos for not voting for Ken Sim. I guess people assumed that because, I, oh my god. <laughs> I guess people assumed because he got 70% of the votes and most of them came from homeowners and I'm a homeowner that I must have voted for Ken Sim. No, I didn't. Um, but that being said, that means that uh, none of the candidates I voted for except maybe like one city councilor and one school trustee actually managed to make it through the election. So pretty much I, um, I'm, I don't want to necessarily say the rhetoric that like um my vote was wasted because you know it's important to contribute to the civic process but okay you know i mean don't be mad my hand has been forced you're a homeowner well like it depends on how you think about it I only, I used to say the line, and I know this is a, like re a repeat bit, so I apologize. I used to say the line that I don't own my home, like the bank owns my home and I have a mortgage. Then I was told that this was actually like a, a, a dog whistle to make it seem like you're less well off than you actually are. And I was, I just thought it was like a, a witty little own. But instead, it turns out that, like, people, they, they took offense to it, and I actually understand it. Plus, I don't think it's actually true. Like, I own my home. The bank merely has me bent over a barrel on a mortgage. I own my home, and I own a mortgage. They just kind of cancel each other out. <laughs> I, I, and I have some equity. Like, it's not like the bank doesn't own my home. They, they can't just, like, knock on my door one day and be like, ah, 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 Pay the balance of your mortgage. Pay the balance of your mortgage or it's our house now. Like, they can't do that. I own my house. I just also own a mortgage. If they take back the mortgage, then they take back the house. I'm rolling. I mean, I, Salamander's got me thinking. We're, we're behind the eight ball in many ways here. I still think that, like, this is our best chance. At least we've only lost two HP. That's almost as much as we could mathematically possibly have lost by this point, but still. Ooh, okay, there's a chance. Try missing uh, some mortgage payments and see what happens. I honestly think that the bank um, doesn't want me to miss mortgage payments. Why would they want to take possession of my house during a downtime for real estate when instead um, they could just have me pay out the rest of my 18 months at like 2.7% and then be forced to refinance at 7% in May 2024?
That seems like a much better deal. Only 18 months left. No, like, listen, we're getting way too into the, <laughs> into the weeds, the financial weeds. But um, in Canada, I, I get in the United States of America, the vast majority of mortgages are 30-year fixed mortgages. In Canada and also a lot of the rest of the world, um, we typically have adjustable rate mortgages, also known as ARMS, um, which, you know, for a two to five year period, you either have a fixed rate mortgage uh, that doesn't change over the term of that, or alternatively, you uh, have a variable rate mortgage, which is tied to the Fed fund rate of the Bank of Canada. Anyway, adjustable rates scare me. Well, I think like, I don't know why, I guess the US lost their right to have them because of what went down in 2008, right? And it's, it honestly has worked out very well this year for the United States. So I'm not necessarily being a hater. Are you silly? I'm just going to send it, man. And I'm going to keep this pill frozen just in case we get a blobfish. We could get a bison to start popping soon. Soon. What happened in 2008? Well, like... So the, <laughs> you, ever, you ever hear this movie called The Big Short? People, I'm a people person! Okay, so... It, it, listen, okay? There's a lot of things happened in 2008. There was, a, there was a housing crisis that was caused by a, an over-availability of credit. So people started buying more house than they can afford. One of the things that allowed that to happen was adjustable rate mortgages, which allows you to qualify for a, a higher mortgage than it would otherwise be available if you took a 30-year fixed rate because of the fact that we thought that interest rates were going to like stay low forever. Then also, so these companies then took the mortgages because they're like the American homeowner is like one of the most stable uh, debt creating instruments that you could, or debt paying instruments that you could possibly have in, in the entire global economy, banks took those and they said, hey, we got like these great little tranches of, uh, of mortgages that we can sell to other banks. But then they were like, you know what? We can juice these returns a little bit. Who needs like a, who needs like a 4% retu return? Who needs a 3% return? So they started generating three and a half, four, four and a half, five, just by adding some people with bad credit into the tranches. Then over time, they got, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm so addicted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, look at that yield. Mm -hmm, another 50 basis points. They started making them like shittier and shittier mortgages get added into it. And then eventually, ooh, things are going bad and they start to unwind people start to miss their payments the mortgage-backed securities that they thought were AAA rated actually ended up being big piles of junk and then the banks were like we can't afford that these these are under collateralized mortgage-backed securities we no longer and then it was AIG and Lehman Brothers and and then you know it so that like that's kind of what happened I don't really remember yeah and then like Jeremy Irons had to come in and uh and he was like um we don't care. All we do is eat cucumber sandwiches for lunch. And Kevin Spacey was like, what the hell? And then it was, a, it was like a whole thing. I, <sighs> Sorry, for, for a minute there, I lost myself. Let me level. This is, this, what's good for the goose is good for the bison. Get rid of my moth. I'm for this. That's one of the best bits you've ever had. It's, this wasn't a bit. That was the first of our four once-in-a-lifetime recessions, okay? You wouldn't understand how messed up it is to be a millennial. Anyway, so I don't know, like... Um, again, I was not economics pilled during this time in my life. I, I look back on it fondly as a result of that. But um, I, I think that as part of the consequences of that... America introduced much stricter mortgage qualifications. So as a result, arms are not as common, adjustable rate mortgages with refinancing like every three to five years. And almost everybody is on like 30-year uh, fixed mortgages. Whereas in, in Canada, we didn't suffer the same kind of... Uh, housing crash during the 2008 recession and also 97% um, of our economy is based on housing prices going up annually so as a result um, they can't afford to you know stop the gravy train so we're still on 
we're still on uh, arms. Like, I don't know, something like 90% of the 90% of the country is on adjustable rate mortgages. That's why you come to Twitch, right? Here's some hot commentary about adjustable rate mortgages. Yes? Okay. Well, then, I mean, that's I'm honestly good. That's pretty good. Now do BlackRock. Listen, okay? Have you seen the TikTok of the... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Have you seen the TikTok of the person that's explaining um, how BlackRock and Vanguard own every company in the United States while they're, like, tap dancing and going, like... Da, 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 da. And you... We're told that there's competition in capitalism, but actually... Da, 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 two companies, two companies own every company in the... And I, I can't watch it, dude. It does, it does psychic damage to me. That, I, I can't watch the video. I'm sorry. And it's not, it's not like a 15 second long TikTok. It's actually like, it might be 90 to 120 seconds long. It, I, I can't handle it. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going big deer. Sorry, sorry. I, I'll, uh, I'm learning to delete it. Um, that's too many seconds. Why didn't you just... I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I just pay six gold for a chocolate when instead I could have just bought this one. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna roll past the deer, okay? PB, PB. It's all right. We want the deer to get to level three anyway. Ooh. It's like a lemon is too good not to take, but the unit that would deserve it the most already has a freaking uh, melon on it. And I am reaping all the benefits. Very good point. I could definitely afford to sell my uh, my hatching chick, huh? It's a very good point. Jesus Christ, Niles! You're nuttier than the green part of Spumoni ice cream! The wedding singer. Mouth! Mouth, he got it. Stand up and take a bow. Can I tell you, last night... Um, I watched, uh, Blade. The fight scenes in Blade have got to be, like, the funniest shit ever put on film. Why? Because it's actually good. Like, I think it's a, it's a good movie. I watched it, like, for the same reason a lot of people did, I'm assuming, which is that it just came out on Netflix Canada. Like, but near the end of the movie, when um, Steven Dorf becomes the blood god, and then Blade slices him in half, and his, his body stretches like, Whoa! and then, like, he gets all this horrible, like, uh, windows or, or Winamp skin style, like, digital blood that connects his top half to his bottom half, and then he, like, comes back together. You're too late, Blade. Oh, man. The CGI is... And, and I don't mean this in, like, a negative way. I'm not even going to say something, like, insulting, like it was good for its time. It's actually just fun. It's like if The Matrix was a comedy. I'm, I'm a noted... If, if Blade has one fan, it is me. If Blade has no fans, I have been killed. Did you know they had the CGI Wesley Snipes eyes open because he refused to open them? Listen... You piece of crap. That was Blade Trinity. That was not Blade One. In Blade One, he opens his eyes of his own volition, okay? <laughs> yes, Wesley Snipes had a conflict with the director. Apparently, at times during the creation, the filming of Blade Trinity, Wesley Snipes would not even talk to the director. All he would do is communicate in notes, like post-it notes that he would leave around the set that would be signed from Blade. So he wouldn't even like have a conversation with anybody. He would just write post-it notes in character and leave them around. 
I swear to you, I don't know if it's true, but that is what I read as a true story. I, I wasn't there, so I can't verify it. Who told me to sell the fish? I'm upset because I like thought about it for a second. I was like, you know what? They're right. The fish isn't doing anything. I think we could definitely sell a hatching chick by a Tyrannosaurus. Now toss a... Uh, oh, no, no, because no, if we toss a lemon on a fish, we're not going to get a 1-1. One, one. You know what? I guess we take this then. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. My first stream ever, he doesn't seem to see chat. First time. Unironically, first time. Look at this. He's learning. Give me some sushi. Hello, Mouth, by the way. I know I said it before, but I'm saying it again. Hello, Mouth. Why you take one of those? Can't believe this, my life. Smiling through it all. We win these. We win these. We win these. Sarudo Bay. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Stand up, Dad. Take a bow. Can't believe I'm buying salads. Steak? I mean, listen. <laughs> Many people will say that it's probably worth losing a 1-1 buff in order to get plus 20 damage. I am not one of those people, though. All we have... What if we draw 20 times in a row? Then we would have gotten a steak for free. Bet you didn't think about that, did you? Bet not. Hey, did the Isaac episode go up yet where I said in today's um, real estate market they should make a new show on HGTV? It's a remake of Love It or List It, but instead it's just called Love It because nobody can afford the listed these days. You, did it? <clears throat> because the... And the, and, and the banks... Plus two, I guess. I can live with that. Come on, let me go to 10. I feel like I deserve to go to 10 on this one. Has that one gone up yet? Willie, I haven't thought. All right, we got to think about that one. We'll lead us to kings. We'll really lead us to... <laughs> the 10 piece. The 10 piece is real. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, run it again. Get the scientists working on the tube technology. The tube technology. Why not? Legendary Soup. Great name. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like an old man trying to send soup back at the deli. Alright, that one hurt a little bit. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going weirdo mode. <laughs> I regret everything. <laughs> I don't think that the frigate bird was what I was looking for. Maybe like, um, maybe the self moth, something like that. That's why you never go weirdo mode. I think we're still going to win. Sometimes weirdo mode can work. And now, when was the last time you had a salad? Honestly, I don't want to alienate anybody, but I'm thinking of switching my lunchtime sandwich to a lunchtime salad. 
Um, just in preparation for Dick Skin December. For what? It's Dick Skin December, okay? <laughs> I don't know how many times we have to go over this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Getting a lot of questions about Dick Skin December that are answered by the name, okay? Dick Skin is when someone is a bodybuilder and their body fat percentage is so low that the skin all over is as thin as the skin on your penis. So, you know, you can see all the veins and, and, and you can see the blood moving throughout the circulatory system and stuff like that. Again, it sucks that it's in December because December is typically a month where you would be eating a lot of like tasty food that's not great for you because of the holidays. The eggnogs and the, and, the, and the turkeys and the gravies and the mashed potatoes and the Christmas cookies and the banks and the AIGs and the Lehman Brothers. And the unfortunately, it's the only month that starts with a D. Which means that for marketing purposes, it has to be Dick Skin December. It would have been much better if it was like Dick Skin February or something like that, but... Unfortunately, that's not the way Julius Caesar named the damn calendar. Honestly, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going weirdo mode yet again. How about, how about Dick Skin nothing? <laughs> okay, well, if that was an option, you'd think I would have... You, I wouldn't have gone with that? What about foreskin February? What is that even? That's the dick skin and foreskin are two different things. I know they're related, but like foreskin February would be like a month where you only wear hoodies, okay? Dick skin December is, you could do both. There's no reason you couldn't do dick skin December and foreskin February, honestly. There's no reason that you couldn't, you couldn't double dip on that one. Please, just give me a level. It's getting ridiculous. The lack of levels, it's getting ridiculous. There's a level. I'll take it. I, I rolled like four giraffes. What is this take? What do you mean it's not a take? I'm just... I'm just talking. There's no, there's no takes. There's no takes on it. Combine me, mod me, I love it. I'm losing my mind and I'm reaping all the benefits. Oh, I don't know where this one's going long term though. Don't call it a take, call it a bit, it drives him nuts. No, but it, that wouldn't drive me nuts because this one's actually a bit. I'm not actually gonna do dick skin December. Like, I think it's a good idea. I just don't have the self-control, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm from a, a intestinal fortitude standpoint, I'm not capable of giving 100% to my exercise and my diet at the same time. What I do instead is I give 100% to my exercise right now, and then I say, oh, fuck the diet, who cares? I'll just, you know, bike it off tomorrow. I'll just pedal the four slices of bread I had for toast off. And then... When I stop doing exercise at some point, because maybe like a knee hurts or something like that, or I tear my ACL, then I go, well, let's focus 100% on the diet because I haven't been exercising lately. And thus, as a result, I uh, never achieve the, the physique that I'm looking for. But I do maintain a relatively consistent, somewhat positive mental health state. I feel like... You have to embrace the husky early here. I'm really looking for a pill. Sans pill. I'm gonna, you're gonna think I've lost my mind. You sell elephant, even though it's our best unit. Buy husky to get the buff started. Pill the ant. Buy, like, almost anything to soak up a buff. Maybe just to get the husky leveled a little bit faster. We can get a level 2 husky. Oh, man, we only have 6 HP, though. <clears throat> it's tough. You're going to steal my chili pepper at the expense of your melon. 
Oh, but also at the expense of my chili. That actually worked out really well. <laughs> that worked out fantastic. <laughs> I don't really need the level 3 otter. I think freeze this for a minute. Hit me with one of these. Hit me with one of these. It's a very nice amount of stats. I wouldn't... If, if I have to run ox here, I wouldn't mind... No, we have to run kangaroo and hope we don't run up against another deer. Level your husky faster. It's a problem. I don't know if we're scaling fast enough. Or maybe a better way to describe it is I know we're not scaling fast enough. Yeah, we're, we're dead. That's tough. <clears throat> Four wins. But you know what? I think we went a little... It's because we went weirdo mode in the early game. If we win some in the early game there, we take a little bit more HP into the Husky pivot. I think we're doing great.